I'm gonna do a solo overnight. I'm hunting fishies. It's supposed to be 19 feet here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Look at this one. That's a nice one. I'm Zachary Fowler and that's Amos Rodriguez and this is the Arctic Blast Survival Challenge. Polar vortex is coming to the north. Yikes. Quite frozen. I got a flag. And yeah. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Got it. Catfish. Oh my goodness. I'm knocking out the species game. Mm. Just the camera is just like froze right over. Uh, was your camera still sitting over there? Good morning. It's a. Uh, a little cool in here. You can see my breath. I loaded the wood stove about half an hour ago, and the uh, fish soup is simmering away, and the most is snoring away. No big deal. Those hot rocks were the, the bomb. Uh, they must have lost their juice by now, but like I still feel like they're warm for some reason. I maybe it's just all in my head. I think I'm gonna get up though and. Uh, let them both sleep and slip out and get us some copies from the store. Oh, what a beautiful crisp morning. Amazing. I don't know what the temperature is. It doesn't feel quite as cold as last night, but it's pretty cold. Oh, look at the river. That was all open. It must have gotten so cold it dammed up. I know this is solid over here. This river. <laughs> the lake is super locked in now, all the way to the edges. I believe some deer came through. They're on top of our tracks. Neat. Wildlife. Make it up the hill in my little loafers. I can feel my beard freezing up as I go. <laughs> Wowza, it's cold in here. Uh oh. Yeah, good old Subaru. Oh, I'm definitely using the hot seat today. Woo! Car started. Let's go get a mosa coffee and make his morning huh got a mosa coffee and my favorite breakfast pizza didn't want him to miss out on that i even got one for sarah and slipped home real quick checked on the puppies and uh made her a special cup of love coffee and brought it to her in bed let's see if a is up ooh, ooh, ooh. oh breaking through it's not as firm as i thought it was home in the woods sweet home Ah, good morning. Morning. I brought you a treat. Oh, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Breakfast pizza. That's my favorite uh, breakfast thing Yum. to have. It's like so Yum. good from the store. And the coffee. Yeah. Celebrate our successful <laughs> completion of surviving the Arctic blast. We got to go further north. <laughs> it was only minus 20 here. And With a wind chill of minus 46. Or yeah, pro well, if, at, when it hit minus 20, I think it was probably minus uh, 50 wind chill, but you know, yeah. we did it and we were pretty comfortable. Amos has got to go, got to go home. Got to fly out you, of here. You don't have to stay here, but, but you got to go home. I don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we got him a plane ticket and so he's got to go. <laughs> Oh, ooh, that's hot. Hold on, I'll pour this and we'll let it cool and have a. Oh yeah, look at that delicious pike soup for breakfast. Best part of waking up is pike in your cup. Copyright Fowler's Makery and Mischief dot com. <laughs> I think you want to give it a try? Let's oh, try. Oh, yeah, I mean, so That's right. our, our uh, fish soup on breakfast while we're packing here. Oh, wow. That's good, huh? That's really tasty. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> That's awesome. You know what I did? What? It's just Wadobo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Wadobo makes such a great uh, a soup additive. Like, it just turns 
Wow. It means definition. amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that bike is awesome. Bon bro. I know, isn't that amazing? What yeah. an adventure, huh? What a way that to... was a good one, man. I can't believe we stay here in the coldest time of the year. In mm. Maine. <laughs> I love you! Snow dog, you're amazing! Look at all that! Hauled all the way up a super steep hill. No worries, no worries. I'm slurping with some of this main yeah. vinegar sauce. <laughs> so, too much vinegar. So, let's redo that. When he comes back in the summer, we'll go oyster hunting ourselves. But uh, yeah. last stop before the airport, and we say goodbye. Is that it? Just the I three think bags? That's it. Yeah. Wow. Efficient. I... <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> hey, take care. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, till the next one, guys. Yeah, till the next one. We'll have to go and visit uh, the oh, most uh, place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was fun. So now, what do you think, hon? I don't know. LOB. Go have our own adventures. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, Amos is gone, and it's been a couple of days. We had such a good time. I'm um, sorry if we didn't get up to more adventure each day. It was kind of a, an adventure thing that we had planned and hoped to do, a short last minute thing, but also a business meeting. So we spent a lot of time working on camera work, how we're gonna export videos and work together to produce his channel. So if you'd like to support him most, check out his channel linked in the description below. There's going to be his video of our time together. We only did one video for his channel and you'll be able to see that. That comes out the same time as this one is. And if you just tuned in and you're like, oh, I didn't know Amos had his own channel, make sure you check this out because he's already done a 30 day survival challenge with Greg and made his own bow and got a grouse and did a catch and cook. He's uh, done the elk hunt, all kinds of new adventures coming too. He's heading to Hawaii after this. And that brings us to what are we up to for the rest of this video because there's still a lot to come. We're gonna get out there and hunt some trout. When Elmos and I were out there, we didn't get far enough out onto the ice to be able to hunt the actual spots I believe all the fish are in my new lake. So I wanna get out there and I'm gonna hunt and get those trout, find the trout. That's my big goal. Teach you guys how to hunt trout and find the trout for myself so I can do a delicious meal and have a cool adventure. It's been a couple days since the most left and I've done some fun meals with my family, spent some time with them, but now we're time to head back out there. But before we do, I wanna introduce you to one of my favorite sponsors now for this video, Factor. It's been two years or so since I got Factor. I really love Factor. I can't tell you how much I love Factor. Factor is meals, fresh, sent to you, all prepared. So I got my fork, let's bust into this and I'll show you what they're all about. I, I haven't tried these ones before. They sent me a mango smoothie, which that sounds really good. I've been out shoveling because there's been a lot of snow that just appeared again. Oh, that's really nice. Once you've selected your meal preference, you can, uh, you can go on there and each week you can custom pick the meals. You got cheesy chicken and peppers. These meals are never frozen. Chef prepared, no prep, no mess, heats up in two minutes. Oh, this is, this is the one. This is the one I'm doing. This is my favorite. Uh, jalapeno lime chicken. Pop it in the nuka wave for two minutes and we got a fresh meal. Oh. Lord, thank you for this meal. Bless this food to our body and help us to find the trout. In Jesus' name, amen. The sauces and the things that come with these have actually inspired a lot of the things that I've tried in my videos. When I get the burger with the sauce underneath, that's one of my favorite ones. I copy some of these things that I see in this. And if you're interested in not cooking for yourself all the time, you want to break from all that, you want to be eating meals that are closer to your meal plan for the diet you're trying to go for. Maybe you're trying to get that summer body all together. They have a calorie smart one, as well as they have some great add-ons. If you like cheesecake, they have some cheesecakes with the keto cheesecakes, things like that, um, the smoothies. So check out that link in the description below for Factor 75. Use the code Fowler50, get 50% off your first meal plan. I don't know what else to tell you about it. I love these things. I love getting these every week when they show up. I'm like, sweet, meal break and I don't have to do the work, and they taste so good. Mm. All right, now I got the energy I need. I keep going, let's go find those trout.
All right, out here again. I couldn't get enough of it. Amos has gone home and uh, I just wanted to do one more day and get up to the lake, further up the lake, and catch some of those fish in those spots that we couldn't catch the fish in when the ice was too thin. I'm gonna do a solo overnight. Let's uh, see if we can get the gear together, head out, see if I can catch something for dinner, and then if not, get out there real early and bust out some uh, early morning ice fishing. Uh, home sweet home. Everything looks pretty good. Let's see if we need the drill. Whenever I'm out ice fishing, I always open up Navionics on the phone and check out the features in the lake. I'm really trying to find spots that either push up or push down and have little bowls in the middle of deeper spots or pushed up ridges. So this looks like a good little hot spot here where there's a little bit of a bowl and then there's these bigger deeper spots which we haven't been able to check out until it froze up recently. Now these aren't the spots you're going to find a trout. Most likely you'll find those around the edges but right now I just haven't found the warm weather fish and I've kind of wanted to find the spot where they're really balling up. Surprisingly enough I haven't caught a bass through the ice here so I still need to knock one of those out as well as the trout. Still haven't tried or, or wasn't successful yet with my little hook setting board here. The uh, I haven't to come up with a name with it. Fowler Strike King. Let's get this baby fired up and see what's down here. Oh, that's some nice thick ice. All right, looking all around. I'm not really seeing anything. Let's move on. All right, right to about the middle of the hole. Off by a couple feet. Let's see what's there. Once I get to where I'm going, I use the Garmin Live Scope, shine it all around, look for some fish at about 30 feet out, and then I would move over and try to catch those. If not, I might go out to 50, 60 feet, and then I'll look for some features and work my way over to those spots and see if there's fish hiding in and around those features. And there goes the sun. Instantly feels cooler. Check it out, the aqua view. Not seeing a lot of activity. I'll have to hunt a lot more tomorrow morning. Check out my new little thing I made. I lost the little tripod for the uh, aqua view. Works so much better. The lake I did uh, the hovercraft and all the other stuff on most of the time is is a uh, seven tree pond. It's, the clarity is horrible. It's only gotten worse last summer when it was kind of warm and the summer before that just seems like it just gets worse every year i want to know with the river flowing in and out of here does it keep it kind of fresher is this going to be a beautiful place to practice some diving and dive around and and see what's down there and get a feel for it even more when summer comes oh look at through the look at through it through the ice that is so cool just that little spot right there as it comes down you can see that clear two inches of ice at the bottom and then below the ice IR light on Ooh, this is a lot clearer than uh, I was expecting yeah there was some rocks and stuff down there they're not here so maybe in the deep hole over there that's the four, on the edges of them or in the 40 feet Maybe it's not even 40 feet. I, that little plateau wasn't a plateau when I looked it up. Said it was a plateau, it got there, and there was no plateau. There was a lot of open water a couple weeks ago, but it's all locked up now. We just want to be careful around wherever there was running water coming in. It might still be a little thin. So we left from the yurt here, headed up the lake. So far, we've checked around here, and now we're going to move over, check the deep spots. No luck so far, not even a single mark, which is kind of wild. Hopefully, we'll find some in this deep area. I'm 
I'm gonna have to map it myself because once again it's 17 feet. All these supposed this is and supposed that aren't there. That's interesting. That gives me a project. I'm excited. That'll be really cool. I have a couple different uh, fish finders that I can hit record on and record my maps. And then, uh, especially this one, and build a really good picture of what's going on down there. Cruise back and forth until I recorded everything. It's cold. Getting cold. Yes. Yes. That's more like it. That's what we're looking for. 40 feet and something big. Something big. This one's my hook setter board, but that'll work for this too, just to, just to hold the rod. Darn it. I'm trying to get this thing to point in the right direction so I can see my jig. And I got hit hard, missed it. Come on, don't want to get skunked. Usually the best bite is during like the twilights, the sunrise, sunset hours, and a lot of times for me I've found ice fishing that that bite right after dark can turn on and you just start slamming all kinds of fish, but it all depends on the species, the air pressure, where the moon is at, or if they just don't feel like eating. So we're gonna have to give up tonight and leave it skunked, head back and make some dinner. Home sweet home. All right, we gotta get some heat in here. I was thinking I forgot coffee. There's coffee in here. Oh, and the pot's all ready to go. How awesome is that, Wadobo? It's so nice to have like a like a little permanent shelter all set up and all ready to go. Like this is this is so awesome. I mean, it would have been awesome to catch a fish, but I, I'll take it. You know. I love this thing. I don't know. I actually haven't seen it in the comments. Nobody said this is dorky or whatever, but like people have been like, oh, that's really nice. And it's just an Amish made picnic basket I got online. Because <sighs> I used the other one uh, to bury uh, one of our pets. Because I needed something nice and I wanted it to be special for him. And I was like, that thing's got holes in it and I keep losing stuff out. And, and it, but it is really nice still. And so now I have this. 
And I got snacks. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Facebook, you might remember a couple weeks back, Luke McFadden came to visit. When Luke left, I sent him home with some slingshots for his friend who runs Miss Paula. His kids like to watch me on YouTube. To say thanks, he sent me a bunch of this Old Bay Spiced snack foods and some soft shell crabs, which I cooked up for the family. They were amazing. Mmm. I've never been a big Old Bay fan, but then again, I've never really taken advantage of it and used it at all. So, whatever. Mm. The only thing I can say about them is I'd like them a little better if they were stale. And back in the day when I used to eat more of this kind of junk food, like I would like, I'd open the bag and then I'd let them sit for like two days or I'd even, I even made a thing where like I was that bad of a junk food junkie that I would, I had a little water spray bottle and put fresh water in and I'd spritz one spray of water in there and then like close it up and the next day come back and they'd be stale and they'd be just right. And we also have burgers, cookies. Hey, we've been out there working hard, hardly working, trying to catch fish, grinding. It deserves a treat. Some sort of a cookie on the bottom and then like a pile of chocolate on top. I don't know if there's another second cookie on top, but no, no, it's exactly like it looks like. There's a cookie on top and then a pile of chocolate on it. And that is really good. That's ice fishing food right there. It's the weirdest thing with this wood stove. Look at that. If you close it up when it's, whoa, backdraft. It's like, I think it's because the chimney doesn't, is too small and the holes at the top doesn't draft enough and she spits like a llama. <laughs> but I also have, which is Old Bay popcorn. Let's see. This is amazing. Why do they give you in like, who gives you popcorn in a like, oh, it's Old Bay seasoned caramel popcorn. What were those popcorns in the little boxes that had a treat that came with it and there were caramel corns? It tastes just like that, but with a, that Old Bay kick to it. Jacks, cacks, kicks, jack cacks. No. Could Jacks? Maybe they were just Jacks. What do you call a snack with a secret toy surprise in the back of Carmel? Go to crack the Jack. I mean, we did pretty good today. Went out there, went fish hunting. There were some suspended fish, which makes me think of crappy. And there were some down low but slightly bigger fish, which makes me think of bass. And there was a couple really, really low, which makes me think of chain pickerel, but I wouldn't, I'd be surprised about catching a chain pickerel. So maybe they're young, smaller pike. People have been saying pike are in here. If there are, I'll find them. Uh, that's my goal is uh, this next year, as the year starts, I'm going to start keeping a species map, you know, and uh, keep it right here at my uh, new lake property that the wife and I bought together and we're just gonna see how see who can knock out the most that's what we should do uh huh what do you think we'll see who can catch the most species she's a really good fish catcher so this could be hard and the only advantage I might have on her is that I uh, you know slip away and sneak out alone and come down here and get in it get get some time on the ice before when she's not here <laughs> because so far all we've got is yellow perch and white perch. And I've caught a bass years ago, but we're not counting that because this is a new fresh start on the new year and the new piece of property. The kids love the crab cakes. Not so keen on the soft shell crabs. So that means leftovers for me. Yeehaw. I love it when the kids don't like something good. So I'll tuck into these soft shell crabs and then I'll tuck myself into bed early night to sleep. Want to get up and get on those trout first thing.
Warm coffee, yeah. Mm, slept good. Woke up at uh, 5.45 or something like that and put the coffee on and fed the wood stove. Now it's warm, warm, warm in here. Let's pack up and get out there on the ice. This morning as I head up the lake, I am hunting trout. To hunt the trout, you gotta go where the trout are. During the summer, they're out in the middle of the lake in the deep, dark, colder spots to hide from the warm water. During the winter, they move up to that shallower water and will be circling the outside edges of the lake and sometimes pausing around stream heads. Streams and rivers bring a lot of food into the lake and that's what trout are looking for. So our first stop is where the stream comes into the lake right here. No way. Tell me that can't work. I lost the pole for this at the back out of the sled. Ah, it so almost screws right into there. I don't see it anymore. I think zip ties and this rubber band thing. Ah, yeah. Got the band over it. Wazoo well, survival belt for the win. <laughs> I might actually like this better than the way I usually have it. It says four feet. And I just saw a fish. And shallow like this, that makes me think it's a trout. First one in. Whew. You know what? I'm gonna use a cup of coffee. Yes sir, we got it with us. I need like a little insulated one, thermos. Get a couple cups of warm coffee before it gets too cold. Good morning, USA. Thank you, Jesus, for the beautiful day. Oh, it's already cooled off to. Still coffee, that's all right. I need to make a uh, cup holder and a cup, metal cup or something. If I made it right, like welded a little thing, my thermos could go into there with a bottom that, that'd be pretty sweet. Keep my cup warm. <sighs> this one got stripped, so I thought I'd jig the hole for a sec. Something keeps hitting it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Trout! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, beautiful brookie. What a nice move. Beautiful. There's a little pan fry. Woo! Look at that fish. Beautiful little guy there. That was so good. Textbook. Uh, I was just getting discouraged, came back and undid them. I went out to 40 feet while I was still watching for flags. I come back, I noticed that one was stripped and then uh, decided to jig the hole and boom! I see it get bumped, see it get bumped again and then uh, that was on the dinner bell with a little grub on it and just pop, a little wax worm. Love it. That feels so good, I could see it happening and then I felt that better hit. Oh. What an adventure. Well, let's take our prize, head back to the shelter, make some breakfast, and then maybe we'll go back out and uh, see if we can find 
the perch. I still haven't found that 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 hole, wherever it is, where the warm water fish are, where we got consistent perch, bass, the chain pickerel. Right out from my place, it seems like that's happening a lot. But I still haven't caught a bass, and there's tons of bass in here. There should be somewhere where on the fish finder I see lots of little things moving around the bottom, coming through in groups, and then like a bigger suspended mark coming through and that would want to hit real hard a big bass. Oh, 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 we got another one. Oh my goodness. I just left it in there because I was going to take a picture of the little guy. And we got a, oh my goodness. Look at this one. That's a nice one. Oh wow. That is wild. Ha! <laughs> Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Have a little breakfast, a little dinner for Sarah and I. Yes! Jeepers, maybe I should have left all those sets out there. I just, the bite just like turned on. Who knows if I've been missing them because I just pulled the other one, something that just came through. Awesome. <laughs> I'm hungry now. I earned it. I found the fish. <laughs> All right, beautiful fish. I'm cleaning these out here instead of making a mess in the shelter. Get the fire going. Woo! <laughs> So excited I've in all my excitement I forgot the fact that like I was saying last night knocking out the species game I caught my that's my first trout at the new lakefront property so that gives me three on the board now for the species game the white perch yellow perch and the brook trout yeehaw get the coffee from the sled and make breakfast ah oh, so tickled if you didn't notice <laughs> Caddis fly grubs or something. Nothing much in his belly. No wonder he's so quick to bite. Lots of little wiggly things from the bottom. And some bug shells from like, I take little sticks or pieces of a reed, caddis flies and stuff. Clean looking fish. I love it when I got a fish and I don't find like pla soft plastics from fishing, bass fishing. So many times, the stocked fish, I find them just, I don't know if they're just dumb or what it is. I find them bellies full of soft plastics, like white worms from somebody's bass fishing that have been lost over time. Like half broke down, but they never, just bellies just chocked full of them. a good fish. A little fish cooler out here. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Little plate. Maybe we'll wrap him in a little bacon. He's kind of tiny. I'll make a better breakfast, right? Pan on. Out the short bacon. Hmm. Can I still wrap it? Maybe I'll just cook it with the bacon. Maybe I'll add some uh, shallots and garlic to this. Ooh. 
Lord, thank you for the trout. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Ha <laughs> ha! The meat just coming right off. Ooh, look at that. That is. Mmm. That's so good. A little piece of meat, little crispy shallots. Ooh. So, so good. That's it right there. With the shallots and the garlic. Dream come true. Maybe a little bit of special sauce here. some of my special herbs and spices on it, but honestly, trout, a little bit of bacon, shallots, and garlic. And I think instead of chopping the garlic, lately I've been doing a lot more of that, where I cut it, the ends off, peel it by smashing it, and then I just smash it with the side of the knife. And it, I feel like it, putting it in the pan like that and just rubbing it around in the pan, it oh, imparts so much flavor. It's a beautiful brookie. Whether it's a native, I don't know. Maybe somebody knows more about that than me, like how do they can completely tell. It didn't have any tank fins or anything like that, and it's pretty darn small. I can't wait for Sarah to get back later so we can come back down here for the evening bite and see if I can't get her on a trout. I still have a lot to learn about the place. I'm not sure if that is the most perfect trout place with that stream coming in or if that was just, you know, luck on my part that they're out there, they're cruising the shallows of the entire lake. I'm going to keep learning, keep uh, experimenting, keep journaling about it, and really see how much I can learn about fishing and, and the fish and my specific lake here. Look at that. There's actually a little piece of cheek meat on the bigger fish. That was my favorite piece on the bigger trout when I was surviving Patagonia. Like the, I'd save those fish heads, smoke them for a couple days, fish head soup, and then that one chunk of meat. They were a lot bigger, so that piece of that <laughs> is the size of a speck. And this one is out there, they were the size of a quarter and the thickness of like two or three quarters. Mmm. That's good. Cleaned it right off perfectly. Mm. That's when you get it right. All the bones stayed on the spine. All the meat came off. Perfect. Nailed it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So if anything else more interesting happens, I'll put it right after this clip. Did make a special romantic dinner for Sarah out here and we spent the night one more time again. We love this little yurt. It is such a blessing. We'll see you in the next one. Fowler out.